I tell you, you shade every bit of your ground in a nice but nasty way. Attention granted, even in the moments your flauntiness unapologetically throws the shade. Countless people have shared the tea. Some tripped and didn't return. Others healed mysteriously. Hanging bells, victrolias with fragrant smells that tell the tales of ancient histories, of shamans in their villages, flew them to ask favors of the ancestors directly. Children correct their naughty ways for fear of the elders, dark punishment. The cries of ghouls and ghosts is what awaits them. It's their admonishment. Brumontia. How you be? I'm pleased to meet you. Your origins is said to have come from South America. You can grow up to 3 to 35 feet tall. Whew. The alkaloids that you contain can put a full-size man to sleep forever. Your blooms are very fragrant at night, pointing downwards to signify your role in the ecosystem. Many are allergic to you. Just by touch, you can do harm. Shamans, root workers, and herbalists that are skilled can make flying ointments with your poultice to astral travel to other worlds or to stop just headaches and pains, even healing arthritis. Your bells are flowers. They have been used to speak to the dead. It is said you write your letters and your petitions and affirmations and fold those up. And you can add them to the flowers. And the spirits and the deceased will answer your call. Brumantia or better known as the angel trumpet in the family of Dantora, the cousin of the devil's trumpet. Thank you all for listening. And don't forget the number nine. Bye-bye. Happy Friday, the 13th. Now go do something wicked. <laughs>